Ah, today we'll be making a vegan high protein frozen dessert. We are creating a product geared towards a vegan dairy free target market. A vegan diet consists of products that usually contain no animal products, either the recipe or used to prepare the food. Our control ice cream recipe consists of heavy whipping cream, half and half, sugar, and vanilla extract. The changes that we implemented, including substituting out the dairy bases for a heavy coconut whipping cream and ripple plant based half and half, substituting white granulated sugar for terminado sugar in the raw, and we kept the vanilla extract, but we also added vanilla bean paste in order to mimic that homemade vanilla ice cream feel. We also added soy protein isolate in order to implement the equivalent of one serving size of protein in the frozen dessert. Lastly, one drop of yellow food coloring in order to give that typical yellow vanilla appearance. First, we'll be mixing the base ingredients, coconut cream and ripple based half and half in a microwavable safe bowl. The heavy coconut cream base is used to stabilize the final product and make it decrease viscosity, thereby preventing the frozen dessert from freezing too hard. The function of the ripple cream is to act as a secondary base that contains less fat which enhances the texture and body improvement. This mixture will be warm for 1 minute and 45 seconds so that it is hot enough for the protein and sugar to dissolve efficiently. The heating process increases molecular motion and makes the proteins gain energy in order to break the bond between the amino acid string. Once the mixture is warm and ready, we will begin adding the rest of the ingredients. To begin, after the addition of the sugar, we sift in the soy protein isolate, which will lighten the powder in order to produce a more even mix. Then the vanilla extract is added slowly in order to ensure even mixing throughout the product. Then, followed by the incorporation of the vanilla bean paste, we finally add the drop of yellow food coloring. At this point, after all the ingredients have been thoroughly mixed, the frozen dessert mixture will be brought over to an ice bath in order to rapidly chill the ingredients to 32 degrees Fahrenheit in order to obtain the optimal temperature. After the mixture has been chilled to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it will be transferred over to the churner for 18 minutes to allow it to form. This churning process introduces air into the mix, the air bubbles that are being stabilized by partially coalesced fat, which gives the final product a buttery and smooth texture. And that's how you make a vegan high protein frozen dessert. Thank you for joining us and, and cook them horns.